Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel tonight. We are greeted by this lovely fire and our candle friend way off in the corner spinning the beats for us. Hmm, we are having a good old time here at home. We've yet to unpack though, so who knows if we're staying here and for how long. Now that that pointless introduction is out of the way, I do welcome you back to the second part of Deadbolt. Where I'm kind of thinking, how am I going to structure this series, right? Because I saw a little... Here, let's get up. Let's get out of the... How do we get up? Help! Help! I'm stuck! Help! <laughs> okay, I got up. So I saw, like, on the missions. It's structured like this little tier. I'm thinking... I was originally thinking maybe do one mission a video. But that's that might take a long-ass time. But then again, I might suck, so it might be necessary. So I guess I'll just play it by ear and see how this goes. So we're on to this next one, I'm assuming. Unless maybe it's a star-based system. And you, like depending on how many stars you get, depends on if you can progress or not. But I'm going to click on this and see what happens. Uh, absolutely nothing. So maybe we got to talk to our friend the fire again. Let's have a sit and talk. The flames roar to life. The undead begin to crop strange powders from below. Incite the flame. Eject their brains and see what it contains. I like that rhyming. Oh, powders. A new drug called Ash. His candles say that it makes you feel like you're alive again. The flames, my employer, want to know more. Okay. Intel. There's a bouncer on the far side of the house. I can kill him to get his weapon. Okay. Bouncer. Large zombies with shotguns. Takes a few shots to the head to bring them down. Okay, so we got our mission here. And we're kind of getting some more, I guess, lore and lay of the land. So the zombies are drug addicts. They're producing their own drugs. That makes them feel alive again. Very familiar to actual scenarios and circumstances in real life but for now this is just a game so let's enjoy it for what it is so now choose a mission here we go we did also get informed that there are a new enemy type called bouncers with shotguns multiple headshots to kill but if we do we can be rewarded with their gun so that's very nice very nice risk reward Okay, that's right. Oh, sparkles. Some dialogue here in the corner. Hmm. So we are employed by this roaring fire that lights up our home. And this fire wants to know what's going on with these dergs that the zombies are producing. I'm going to open this. Very weird layout to have... The bathroom be the entrance. I mean, it's might be good for us, though. I could get straight into it with the bouncer. But you know what? Let's try. Let's try going this way, this route. Oh. Oh. Oh, I thought I had the hammer out, but I guess not. Woo! That was a clean headshot. Man, missed opportunities. Like, I thought I scrolled enough to get the hammer so I could melee the melee guy, but I guess not. Just beat that man's ass. Like it ain't no thing. So how can I get up to here? Like, mm, that music is firing off again. I love it. Oh, hold on. Can we come up from the top rope here? No, but we can come. We can drop in through here. ODST style. So. Bop. Dropping in. Close the door. Beat this man's ass. 
Mm, kick him down the stairs, maybe? Nope. Grab the 9 mil. Very good. Only need two shots. Never mind, I only needed one. Feels good. And now we might die here. <laughs> oh my god, such bad accuracy. <laughs> but I did get a shotgun. Sawing off. Okay. Well, I mean, we did the job. Inspect Dergs. Kill all undead. Oh, they don't see me because they're on the other side of the door. This is going to feel good. Here, let's knock. Ooh, baby. Oh, so I didn't die. My accuracy was definitely not perfect. But I only got three stars. I wonder why. But here we are back home. We didn't get another cassette tape. So let's sit and talk with our friend the fire. Or I guess our employer. The flames roar to life. And I see visions inside. Mission. The fireplace began to speak. Flesh caskets breathe. Burn the ash. Scatter their teeth. Intel. I see two entrances to the house. The left entrance has less zombies, but the right entrance has more weapons. My choice. New gun. I see visions of Sharon, the ferryman, or Chiron. Whatever. Mm, I don't know. He may be interested in the souls I have collected for our mutual employer. I should see him at the docks before my next mission. Mission unlocked. Go to the docks. Docks. Karen lives at the docks. I can exchange souls for weapons before I accept my missions. Wonderful. So let's go to the docks and see what that's about. Hello, my friend. My first thought was trying to shoot him, <laughs> but that's probably not a good start. 32 revolver. I already have that. Death and taxes. High fire rate holds 14 bullets. Okay. 80 souls, though. The Revenant, high damage but loud, holds 5 bullets. Headhunter, extremely powerful headshots. Or a 9 mil. I could do that. Secondary. Ooh. 25 mouse gun. Low power, holds only 2 bullets. Why would I want that? Blunderbuss? Flintlock shotgun, holds 1 shot. Flashbang could be nice. Ugh, suppressed shotgun. That's disgusting. I mean, since we're here, I kind of want to try getting the 9... SMG, you say? Fast but inaccurate. Holds 30 bullets. It's only 30. Wow. I want to try it. I want to try the SMG. Like, normally I'm all about accuracy and, like, just well-placed shots. Uh, ignore the bouncer in the last mission. <laughs> but I... 30 bullets. That could be very nice. I may regret this later. Oh, achievement. Buy a weapon. I probably should have got the 9mm regular pistol, but... Why, well, I still can. So, you know what? I will. Lovely. <laughs> Perhaps I should have bought a knife or something. Ah, whatever. What's done is done. And here we are, back home. So let's go ahead and go to our mission. Because I think we, I believe we already talked to the fire. Yes, we did. Here we go. You know, I just had a good thought that maybe at the end of like this giant tree, much like Kill the Crows, how I'm doing the, how I'm recording the progress to get the new stuff by not talking so I can focus maybe at the end of each tree and kind of like at the end of each uh, I guess organization because that's kind of looks like where we're heading I'll just like go back and do a comment commentary less video where I five star every mission I think that would be interesting oh man I wish I remembered no where's my guns destroy all ash catches
Oh, change weapon. Here we go. Why? Dude, I love it. I love everything about it. You go to the trunk and get your guns. All right, we're going to rock the SMG. Let's see how this works. Mm, yeah, that's a decent amount. Holding it one hand. Nice. So I said there's less zombies on the left side. Hmm. That's a thick boy. Pick up that sawed off. Grab a knife. Never mind. We will just zip on away, I guess. I should have got that knife. I do have the knife. Nice. Cut that man's up. Shiv him up real quick. Drop down. Blast this man's, I think. Huge. This door's open. Burn the dirgs. Turn off the light so I can be Batman. <laughs> that guy's in the fire. That's wild. I can't go through that vent. Damn, I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, so... Drop him! Bop! 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 Go up. He's got cover. Drop him! Bop! Bop! Huge headshot. I didn't expect that. Run across. Drop the SMG. Got ourselves a cheeky little 9mm. So now, burn these dergs. Grab... We'll take the 9mm. 9mm and a knife. Wonderful. And we will actually take the vent just to be a little quicker. Pop. Ooh, I want to knock and just like shiv him up. But this will be better for us. Oh, what a shot. Light it up. Are you coming through, friend? No, you're not. Okay, so there's got to be a better way, right? Turn the light off. Nice. Very sneaky. There's got to be a better way to handle that side of the house. Because going through just the door and having like a straight shootout doesn't seem very interesting. However, maybe here. Let's knock. I mean, bop, bop. I mean, this, this man's is in the restroom. Out we come. Huge shot. Ooh, that bouncer down there, though. I kind of want to go at the bouncer with full ammo, if I'm being honest. But at the same time, will I have the opportunity to? Let's... Like, we got to pop out on this man. Nice. That was a good shot. Very too close for comfort, if I'm being honest. But we did pull it off. So now, pop, long distance shot. I'm going to go ahead and go to my trunk. I can't go to my trunk. I'm a fool. But what I can do is grab the shot it gun, run on over. And we're going to ODST drop on this man when he turns around. Huge. Oh, I just I took the ammo. That's wonderful. Hmm. We have to come in through here. We'll drop in through here when this melee guy is past me. Shoot you. Bam, baby. Easy peasy. This is interesting because my score is getting worse and worse. But my guess is it's just because well also my headshot hits was horrible. I wonder how how weighted time is. And then of course headshot hits. We're back at our safe house. Now, as y'all saw, our score is pro I guess mine, I'll take the failure. My score is progressively getting worse and worse. I don't know how much of that is weighted towards time or if it's just a matter of like headshot headshot value i mean realistically it's probably both right 
So, let's see what's next in store for us. Sit and talk. The flames roar to life and you see visions of a man. Puff. No moment to flee. He should not be here. A man with a heart cannot live with me. Intel. The candles tell me that Puff keeps an old machine gun in his basement, something he stole from the Trideads. I'm sure it still works. And Puff. Shadows cast along the wall and the sh flames show me silhouettes of Puff's death. This is the first time my employer has given me a specific target and I succumb to the thrill. Okay. So possibly we gotta do a Hitman style assassination thing. Puff, a low level dealer, Puff might know about their supplier. Kill him. But you know what? That seems like the perfect mission to start next time. I do hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it comes out well because I'm going to try making these just a little shorter so that it's a little easier on me in uh, editing and then I can get like uh, a good a good supply of videos out so that they uh, there's a constant stream of videos. But thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this part. I next time we we start this up, I'm going to try and be faster. I'm going to try and be more reckless, but to try and get the job done, like more headshots, more reckless and ideally get that score up because that would be lovely. I do hope you enjoyed the video, however, and hopefully I will see you all in the next one to come, whether it's Deadbolt or something else. Do you take care? Bye bye.